Well, hello there, it's Wayne Robson again with Nuclear 3D Artists. I'm not sure which episode this is. I'm pretty sure that episode 7 went missing. Uh, or, to be more accurate, I actually gave it the wrong number. So, yeah, there is no episode 5. Or was it 6? One of the two. Something's missing somewhere along the line. Um, right, this one is another simple one. Uh, it's about outputting your sequence. Now, if you've watched the one about the second way of dealing with anamorphic uh, footage, if you had a multi-pass EXR with, say, 28 render passes, you wouldn't want to use the reformat mode at the bottom unless you've actually really got to. Um, so we did one involving read node, and that obviously reflects everything else you're doing. So, uh, first of all, let's press W and have a write node. Uh, now, if you're just put outputting a still, right, I will just quickly find my folder which I'm going to do here. I'm just going to give it test.png because this is just a single output, right? And then if we go render, we don't want all those frames. We just want to one, right? And now if we go boing like that, whoop. Let's see what's got here. Of course, it's, we'll do one to one, the range. Boom. Now I have in my other pane, let's came up over here. And there we have it. There's the thing there. And it's rendered, of course, as anamorphic, which then would allow it to be, you know, unstretched for using it in a full sequence. Now, what happens if you want to have a sequence? Uh, now, the, the animation starts here about, we'll say 700, right? So if I do this, we want uh, frame range um, A. Now, for that one, what we're going to do is we're going to go from 1,000 to 1,020, right? We'll put that in there, and that will only render 20. But we're not going to press that yet, because we need to give it a dot, and then one, two, three, four hashes is normally enough, right? Don't press render yet, because what I'm going to show you is quite interesting. We're going to make another right node, or probably easier just to copy this one. Now we're going to have a one with just the raw pass without anything in, and we're going to call that uh, B. Now this one, if I hit the render one, will be the same frame range, or we could actually do something different. We could do 1100 to 1120. All right. And that's already outputting that there. Let's output all these across in here, like loads of bloody things. So we've got that one there, and let's say we have another right node. Um, we'll have one here, just for the roto for the eyes, for whatever reason. And then we'll put that as frame range C. Same frame range as before. Right, now what you can do here, which is incredibly groovy, so we've got all these here, which I want to quickly just create a new new folder. If it allows me to do this, because my mouse has been an idiot. Let's call it one, because I really haven't got time to name things at the moment. Stick it in there. Right. So they're safe. And there's my lovely background. Right. What you need to do is select all of these, right? Everything you want to do. Then just go render all right nodes, right? Or render selected right nodes. Well, in this case, we've selected them, so we're going to go boing. And it'll just go boing. And it goes the way through. And it's going to do the whole bloody lot right through. Right, so what we've got here is if we notice on these ones, all right, if it decides it's going to show me it, that's the one with the color correction on. These ones are the ones with without the color correction. And this is the animated mask, right? as well so we can you can output as many of these as you like so there you go that's an, an easy way to output uh, sequences but also multiple right nodes at the same time um so say we wanted to if i delete all these things i'll delete the whole lot right oh there boom is it going to delete all these yes delete all the damn things lovely right let's say we only wanted uh the mask and the final version, right? So we've got them both selected. Go render, selected right nodes, like that. 
and it was this folder. There you go. It's so simple as that. It's really simple. Just remember to put a dot then before hashes and stuff like that. Uh, good tip. Always make sure your things are named correctly. Okay. And that's it. Another simple one. So I'll catch you all next time. Bye.